Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So I apologize for the lighting. It's 8.30 and super dark out. I just laid Bernie and Nina down to sleep. Isaiah took a long nap, so he's right here beside me. Alea's in the shower, so you might hear the shower running. And Maya is at her friend's house for a sleepover because it's Friday night. But I just wanted to update you guys on what happened with my cycle so af showed a week late seven days late that's never ever happened to me before it was a complete shock i definitely thought i was pregnant even though the pregnancy test had turned negative after i had a positive so and i apologize if the tv's loud bubble guppies are still on from when bernie and nina were hanging out with me in bed after their bath and I just haven't changed it. Hashtag mom life. But AF was seven days late. That's never happened to me before. I had gotten a positive pregnancy test, then negative. So what I believe had happened was a chemical pregnancy had thrown my cycle off and made it a week late. So if you guys saw that video, you would have seen that I got a positive pregnancy test and then I took another one after that and it was positive, but it was lighter. But the first one was a pretty clear positive. I could see it without squinting, without holding it up to the light. It was there, it was a pink line, a pink second line indicating a positive pregnancy test. Now, I would think that it was a faulty pregnancy test if the second one I took out of a different package wouldn't have shown a positive result at all, but it did. So I'm almost 100% positive, 99.9% .9 positive I had a chemical pregnancy. And basically chemical pregnancies start and end so quickly most women don't even know that they have one unless you are testing for pregnancy before AF is due. But in my case, I'm pretty sure I was already late. I wasn't keeping track of anything. Um, yeah, I wasn't keeping track of anything. I had taken a test. I forget if I was late or not. I would have to look back at my videos because like I said, I wasn't keeping track of anything so I don't really know if I was late at that time or not. I forget why I took a test, but I did and it was positive and I was like, oh my gosh. I think it was because I was having pregnancy symptoms. I was having cravings, I was nauseous, I was feeling super dizzy, I was like so hungry, literally so hungry. I think that's what happened. And of course, I always have pregnancy tests laying around, so I took a test, and it was clear as day. It was a positive. And I showed Bernie, and his eyes were like, <laughs> like he saw it, and usually he doesn't. Like with the other kids, when I had a super faint positive in the beginning, and I showed him, it's not positive to him unless the test is like, like the line is super dark or the test says pregnant so I don't know if that's like all guys or just him but I can see the faintest line that's just me I've taken so many pregnancy tests countless pregnancy tests and I can tell when there's a line so when I showed him he saw it like it was it was a clear positive result of a pregnancy test and then they just got lighter and then became negative. So basically it was a chemical pregnancy. It pretty much started, pretty much ended before it started. Like I said, most women don't even know they have a chemical pregnancy unless they are testing early. And I'm pretty sure I was just testing because I had symptoms since I wasn't keeping track of anything. But then I was testing like crazy after that because AF was seven days late. And the most it's been late is like a day ever in my whole life. Being a week late, that was just crazy. Like that's never happened before. 
and I was like, something is up. The tests are saying negative, but I believe I'm pregnant. But the pregnancy symptoms weren't as strong anymore. They like faded away. So I was like, something's going on. Either the tests aren't showing that I'm pregnant and I am, or I had a chemical pregnancy and it's just throwing my cycle off. So I truly believe that's what happened since I did get a positive and then another positive, which was lighter than the first positive and then negatives the days after that. So it's sad, but I know chemical pregnancies and miscarriages happen because there's something wrong with the baby and it's not able to survive. So basically they happen because the baby won't live. So and the baby's not able to live because something's wrong with it. So it's sad. Like I said, I was thinking of like pregnancy announcements for Halloween and Thanksgiving and I was just getting excited and then it ended I was really upset at first but like I said I know why they happen and I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want something wrong I wouldn't want there to be something wrong with the baby that I'm carrying because that's just really sad I couldn't even imagine but I just wanted to give you guys an update. And I'm really sorry about the lighting. Nina's so funny. She was saying that there's a witch on TV and there's a witch on TV on Bubble Guppies. It's like a Halloween episode. But yeah, I'm super excited that it's fall, guys. I love fall. I haven't seen four seasons in a few years since we lived in Florida. This is our first winter back. So we came back, like, at the end of spring. Well, around Easter time, so springtime. And we've been in Florida for a few years, so we're finally back home, and we will get to see four seasons again. We will see snow. I never thought I wanted to see snow again, but being in Florida made me so homesick. I realized that I really do enjoy the four seasons and snow on Christmas and around the holidays. I enjoy the colder weather, which I never thought I did until we lived in Florida. I just feel more at home with the four seasons, so I'm happy to be back, but like I said, I wanted to give you guys an update on what was going on since I didn't and I left you guys hanging just in case you guys wanted to know what was going on. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe for future updates. Comment some video ideas and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.